OK, so in this video, we're going to import a CSV file into Revit to create a topo solid. Now, a few little things. Here's our CSV file, first of all, showing our coordinates and showing our elevations. And that's the only data you have in the CSV file so that Revit can read it correctly. So I'm just going to close that down. Now, let's go over to our massing and site. And let's oh, I'll zip to a site plan first. Just going to zoom out a bit. It tends to have a habit of shooting off somewhere on the screen. So top of solid, create from import. Use the CSV file option there and find your CSV file, press open. The units, there's a few options. Meters is the one that I'm using. Click OK. Now, if you can't see your site, just use zoom to fit. There we go. And we've got it showing up here away from our thing, um, other information. Now, one little um, caveat about this method. It is very fast, so that's good, but it doesn't enable you to give it a true life location somewhere on Earth by linking it together in Revit with that external information. So what we're creating here is a, a local site plan, as it were, um, without referencing anything exterior to it. So let's have a little look. There's our site. We can click on it and I'm just going to move it down here so that we can actually keep it all together. So this doesn't really matter with this method. All right. Now we've got this. So what I'm going to do here is first of all, just move the cameras to be on the site. And then I'm just going to adjust their view so that we can make sure that we can actually see the site. So that's each of those moved and then click on the little arrow and we get that line, which of course we can just drag across so that we can actually see the site properly in our elevations. Now, there is one more thing we really do need to sort out and that is the elevation of the site. So we can see here the height offset from level zero is 95,350. All right, so 95 meters, um, because those were the elevation points in our CSV file. So what I want to do here is change the levels of our project to suit the level of the site. Now, I would recommend that you, rather than just changing that down to level zero, because if you're then setting out a building on that at some other point, um, later date, you're perhaps going to want to be able to refer to the levels that were taken in the original survey and relate to them. So this would make it easier to actually change the levels to suit the elevations from your survey. So we're just gonna cover how to do that now. First thing though, select the site, modify sub elements, and now we can see all of the spot levels that have been taken in this survey. Now, somewhere in this survey, you should have some um, reference points taken, um, used as your sort of um, datum, so that you can link back to them at some other point. So for the purpose of this video, we'll just assume that that spot there all right, was a, a fixed point on the site that can be referred back to at a later date. Maybe a marker has been put in there or something, or it's got some other reference on site. So you click on that one point and just make a note of the elevation of it. So 102.910 in this instance. All right, now you've got to bear in mind, of course, that's in millimeters. All right. So 102 meters, 910. What we're going to do now is set our levels to that point. So I'm going to open up one of the elevations. 
right? And you can see there's a big discrepancy at the moment. So I want level zero to be at that 102, 910. All right, so that's going to be our fixed point. And then this one, I could just do a set number of meters above that, and that could then become some level in the building or whatever we end up doing. So I'll just change that so it stays six, four meters above at the moment. Put that up there as well. Okay. But, oh look, it's shot back up. Why is that? Well, that's because, of course, we've gone and um, left this at a height offset from. But that's not a problem now, because now we've actually adjusted the level zero to the exact point on our site where we've got an elevation. We can now just do that um, as a zero offset. And or we want to find that point and bring it to level zero. So what we need to do is take our 102,910, deduct that from it. So I'm just going to use the calculator for that to make sure I get it accurate. So we've got our 102,910 minus 95,350. I've missed out a digit. There we go. 95350 equals so 7560. So a little bit of workings out. So this is now going to be minus 7560. And that will now drop down there. So we can now see our level zero was pretty much on the top of the site. Um and we've got that now linked to each other in a more accurate fashion um, from an elevation point of view. So we can rest assured that it's easy to link the levels back to the site um, at a later date when we decide to put various structures onto this project. So that's the first element of it. We've positioned it and got something that we can actually reference back to on the site itself. So this is what it actually looks like in 3D. Okay, so we can see we've got our topo solid. All right, and now we can edit this as we have done in our series of videos with the topo solids. Um, we can just click on it. As we can see at the moment, it's just got the generic one meter thickness so we could duplicate that we could then call it our site we can edit the structure of it um, just insert a layer and move that to the top and we'll just give that some grass just to sort of show what we can do here and there we go we've got grass say okay give it a thickness 30, that'll do, and say OK. So now we can see we've got a, a layer of grass on the top of the site. Um, and you can just do all the normal things with editing the sketch. You can subdivide it. That would be a very useful one. And you can create various elements within it. But I'd encourage you to have a look at the uh, Topo Solid series that I've done on that, where you can look at various features of modifying the site. Um, that would be very helpful. But that really concludes this video of importing the CSV file into Revit, creating your site, and then just adjusting your levels so that you can reference back to the physical site where the survey was taken. I hope you found the uh, video helpful. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so.